Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Koi Plays Minecraft Bucket List. <gasps> What's this? I've never seen this before. This was not here. Why is there a bunch of dirt arranged in a little square fashion? It's got even a, it's got even a, a little spruce door attached to it and some cobblestone. But no glass yet. And a bunch of torches right here. What in the world would this be? What could this possibly be? Well, one thing I was thinking of is I have no actual maps of this area. So guess what? This is just going to be a pretty simple map house. It, I don't know if it's going to be completely square by the end of it. But for sure, the corners are going to go and they're going to be something else. But I just put them, put them there just so I have something to measure. And I'm going to do essentially a 9x9 nine nine square of this map. And this central piece right here is actually going to be that house, right? That's where the central piece of my map is going to be based off of. And then from there, I'm going to try to work my way around 9x9. Nine nine. And unfortunately, this stuff here is going to be out in the ocean. So we will see what that looks like, right? And I, I really needed a map just so I have a way to kind of figure out what's going on here. Um, I've got, I don't need the seeds right now. I've got a whole bunch of paper. I've got a whole bunch of leather. And what I don't have yet is a little bit of wood so I can make some sticks. So I can surround my um, leather and make a bunch of item frames. I need at least nine item frames to work this out. I've got some extra chests here. And I'm just going to use those chests to kind of deposit my things. And I've noticed I've been doing a lot of oak roofs here. And I'm starting to wonder... Should I or shouldn't I is the question, at least when it comes to this idea here. Should I or shouldn't I use oak for this particular map house? I'm actually thinking of using dark oak. Because I found a dark oak forest, I was thinking of making this whole thing out of dark oak. At least the roof up here. And then I was thinking the walls could be spruce because I've been doing spruce throughout my builds. And so spruce walls would be good. And down here where the foundation roughly is, I was thinking of just doing regular stone. Oh, by the way, this will go away too. I was thinking of doing regular stone down here. And I guess I won't really realistically have a foundation anywhere. Um, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and stick a chest. And we're going to fill our chest up with some bunch of stuff as we go. Um, first, we need obviously the usual crafting table. Because I have crafting tables everywhere except for here. So let's start off by making ourselves a crafting table. That crafting, t actually, you know what? Let's put the other chest for now right here. Crafting table can go probably in this corner. And then from there, how do we do this? We where, Where's my wood? Convert my wood into a whole load of sticks. There we go, perfect. And then all my sticks, we're gonna just essentially do this. And that gives me eight. Eight item frames. We're short by one set of item frames. How lucky me. And these nine item frames are essentially going to be here where the map's at. And I'm obviously going to have to rearrange this. But as we go along, we will work on this building. The roof I'll do later because I don't quite have dark oak conveniently available. I do have spruce and some other things. And... Maps. How do we make maps in Minecraft? We need redstone. And we need compasses. And I believe we need some more iron than what I've got here. So I'm going to meet you guys all the way over there. Stay tuned. Alright guys. Turned out my redstone was up there. Oops. But I did get a bunch more iron. I did need the iron. So to make a bunch of compasses, I've got to essentially do this sort of idea. I'm going to need way more than this, and I stick a piece of redstone in the middle, and that gives me five compasses. So I need way more iron blocks than just five. So i got to go back and recollect my iron. But I do have enough redstone because um, it's essentially going to be redstone, actually iron going around and redstone going in the middle. So I just need at least four more pieces of redstone to work with. So yeah, let me go ahead and make the rest of my compasses. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my compasses, and essentially surround them in paper here. And I've got enough for six maps. So I'm going to have to make a few more papers as well. So we're, we'll just go with all five of these. And we're just going to need to clear out a little bit of inventory space. So I have room for nine different maps. And we will meet you back at the house for our first map in just a minute. Okay, everybody, I am back. 
Um, I've made up my nine maps, so that will be able to fit in this square section. If you notice, I've also put in the building like super quick. I designed the building as quickly as I could, and I made a little what looks like essentially a timer kind of shape thingamajig. At least with the shape that I've got here, I know this middle part isn't perfect, and there's not much I could do to leave a blank here without ruining the other side of this. So I wanted to make sure this was completely filled in as it is. So yeah, and we've also got to stick some windows in here and we will take care of that as we go along. I'm going to need some more sand probably. And I was thinking maybe we can make a dye color window. That's something I have not done yet with the windows over here. I don't quite have silk touch to pull these out to be able to do some redecorating. And in fact, I wouldn't mind doing some redecorating of this whole build here and make it even look even more awesome than it already is. Um, so let us go ahead and start our first map. Let's just take a single map piece and we're going to start it from inside this house just so we know roughly where it is we'll start it right about where the enchantment table is because the enchantment table has got to go so let's see what we what we get okay shield you're in the way there we go now we can see what's going on okay so that's the first piece of this map it is kind of small but not that small completely. So I could see my house. I could see the two farms I've got. I could see my outline of the map house. And oh, and that little shed over there. So that's about it. So let us, if this is going to be our centerpiece, this piece of the map is going to be getting dark already. This piece of the map here is going to be our centerpiece that's going to go, in a sense, right there. Right? So now what we're going to do is. We can either zoom this, I mean, there's a couple of things we could do. We can either zoom the map out or we can go with it as it stands. And for now, I think for the sake of this area, we're just going to go with it as it stands. But if I do that, over here is essentially going to be the cow farm and whatever farm, but it's not going to really reach that far. So I wonder if I take the time to zoom the map out, I will actually be able to get a little bit more area. So let's see what this looks like zoomed out. Do I even have... I don't have paper. I believe I have to surround each map with enough paper to zoom this out. I don't remember how many times. So we're just going to zoom this out by one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We have a lot of work to do right there. We're going to have to go into the water and everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's just okay. That's going to give us a nice set of range of where we need to go. And the sun's already setting. So we're, we're going to need to make a boat. And I'm going to go ahead and take a nap here. We're going to make a boat off camera to get out into some of this watery area. And we're going to fill in the rest of this map as best we can. We'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, everybody, we're hanging out here in the middle of the water. Um, this piece of the map, again, is our central map. So we're going to go for the one that's just below it, which will be out this way. Hi, Squid. So we're going to have to keep going this way until we... And this is pretty probably reasonably safe okay i think i'm outside the map range now we're gonna go ahead and open our next map oh this is just a piece of paper what am i doing okay let's open our next map this map here will be the southernmost portion it's all water and we have a little bit to do over there so let's head over this way a little bit and there's what the there's the ocean monument i keep pointing out um i hope i don't die here i've never gone over this way. Wow, that's a sweet ocean monument, and it's not going to show up on the map at all. It might actually be out, out of the out of the normal range. We're going to head over to it just for a minute. Yep, yeah, it's definitely out, out of range. Okay, so let us head back over to this way real quick. Real quick. It, it, I think the southern... Oh, here we go. So here we are. This, in fact, let's arrange this in my inventory as best as possible. So this is going to be the piece that's just south. Now we're going to try to do the piece that's over here and the piece that's over this to the um, right of it is going to be that way. So we're going to probably make landfall, I guess, and that's where we're going to be. <gasps> oh no, I forgot I have to make these map bigger. Oh no, I completely forgot about that. I didn't think this through, did I? Okay, I'm keeping this the same size as these two here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not the same size as map zero. So, okay, I believe I need a new crafting table. Let's make a new crafting table. And we'll make landfall here. 
Probably right here. Right here is good. Bo, don't don't go away on me. I know you sometimes do those kind of things. Okay, let's get up here real quick. And I have no more space now. I'm totally out of space. Stick this here. And map number three is the one I'm working with. So... No, no, this is not paper. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is better. Now, I don't know if this is right, but this is definitely better. So, let's see. Map 2. Let's do the same thing with map 2. I might have screwed up map 3, but I can live with it. And I might have just screwed up all the maps, but this is okay. We'll, 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 we might just have to start over. What? Okay, these two are the same now. This is so bizarre. Then what's this one then? I think these connect now directly south. Okay, I just made two ridiculous maps of the exact same area. Wonderful, I need to screw up my map. All right, well, back in the boat I go then. Where do I need to go? Let's head over as far, actually up towards the ocean monument where I need to go. Okay, these two maps are now linked up. Here's my first map. Here's my second map. First map, second map. Perfect. So this is actually now the very southern map piece. So we need to go back a little bit this way. And in fact, we actually have to do both ends now. We're going to have to have a few more maps made up now. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to go this way toward land and go in as far as we can possibly go until we get off the edge of the map here. And then we'll make landfall, make our map bigger, and then go from there. Okay, good. You're now map zero, huh? Interesting. Well, anyways, we're going to go by boat first, and then if it gets dark on us, we're going to just get stuck in the ocean, at least until we are ready <laughs> to deal with the light. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I made it back just before sundown, and I've got... Believe it or not, this many pieces of the map. That's actually not bad. I'm missing two pieces. And thanks to the boat, I would be able to travel just a little bit faster than normal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and inset some pieces of this map. So, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to rip off the thing off the wall. Wrong button. There we go. So we're going to inset some of these bottom pieces now. And that should tell us where we are, at least down here. And then this I'm going to keep, and then I'm going to inset these two. This one goes here, and this one goes up there. Oh, and this red dot, by the way, is a bunch of lava. And I just, just, just now got this one. So that one goes there. And so in a sense, I've got to go just a little bit outside of the ravine slash portal area, and that will get me my next square. And then this one will get my next square, which is actually right outside of the this area and I haven't quite fully explored this area as you can see because it's got a little bit still covered up right there so we're going to do this part right now as soon as I go to bed of course okay yes this one I have yet to explore much of this area at all so let us go north first and then we'll just work our way south and come back around ah there's some lava pits around here this is awesome yeah so just to kind of help hello sheep just to kind of help finish off this episode, um, I don't know if you guys have ever had kids or anything like that, but I've got one, as you know, and the one I've got is sick. Yes, no fun for me. So I've been spending since Thursday night dealing with a, a sick kid. Okay, <laughs> so much fun, right? So instead of getting, you know, a full night's sleep, I am finding myself waking up at three in the morning because the kid's in bed because the wife brought the kid to bed and I'm like why is the kid in bed what's up with this I want to go to bed and I can't because the wife got the kid there yep and it's, it gets fun right because the kid you know got you know stuff coming out of the nose stuff coming out of the mouth stuff coming out of the hands it's just everywhere and I'm trying so hard not to get myself sick and I'm really really hoping whatever she's got I'm immune to it that's what I'm hoping but I don't know if that's entirely the case um, but we'll see. So far, I haven't gotten sick yet. I've been washing my hands as much as possible whenever I'm around her. And I want to make sure I stay that way. But I get to the moment where she wakes up and says, Daddy! And guess what? I'm basically holding her as she sleeps on me. 
That's basically what's happening. Yeah, so um, she doesn't need medication, at least not at this point, because it's still pretty early in the cold. It's a cold, by the way. It's nothing much more than a cold, really. Oh, that, that's not safe. Let's go around this. Just safer to go around. Um, yeah, so she's got a cold. And, you know, cold, as far as I know, take about seven days. So today is, what, day three? Which means today and tomorrow are probably going to be the two worst days of my entire week, quite frankly, in terms of dealing with a sick kid and everything. And, you know, she's eating, drinking, whatnot, but it's just the, you know, the, the pain that's involved, being sick, the, you know, wanting to sleep all day, the not knowing what's up, and lots and lots of crying. So she actually went, quite frankly, it just turned around there, and I'm like, she actually went to bed quite early today, which in my opinion is a good thing. Because um, last night, she went to bed at 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock and I was like wife just give me a just just five minutes is all I need right and so I got you know a little bit of time I gotta go in I gotta go this way I think it's this way yeah this way okay she pop out any second now I hope there I am yeah so I was like give me just five minutes just five minutes I need five minutes to finish my editing once I get my editing done I'll be you know all yours after that, right? So yeah, I pretty much had her all the way to 11 o'clock at night. Had I not done my editing, I would have never gotten a video up for Monday at all. Never would have gotten a video up on Monday. I, in fact, I would be doing Monday's episode literally like right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the path. Good. I just ran right into the path. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's get these maps back. I will meet you over there in just a minute. Okay, folks. I was honestly hoping that by doing these maps, I would be able to find a village. But apparently, there are no villages. I was also hoping, by doing this map, I will find a swamp. But, apparently, according to my local area, this is all I've got. Yes, it is. This is all I've got right here. Now, we know uh, by going... To, we What we did, we went this way. We went to the west. And to the west, we know quite a ways down that way is a desert so there's some things we could do and that potentially could mean going out to the desert doing a little bit more mapping doing something very similar to this so we have a rough idea of what's at the desert and then we can also come back over here and go um i don't know what direction this is here north yes north we going south anymore realistically we don't know where it's going to go because it's mostly water out there um except for the water temple um we would have to go out quite a ways and figure out what's out there. But anyway, going north, we can see what's out north direction. And then going this way until we hit water over that way, we can also see what's going on over there as well. Just to get a rough idea of what's in my general direction of coordinates. Now, we could go about the same distance as the desert and see roughly what we've got out there. In the meantime, um, I'm leaving this building a little bit unfinished. Yes, I am. I'm going to come back to this building probably in the next episode. I need to gather a little dark oak for the roof. I need to, I think I've got windows, at least the the regular glass, but I would like to make them color, a little bit of a color, maybe gray, light gray, light gray um, stained clay. Uh, why am I saying stained clay? Light gray stained glass I could do. Um, and I can also replace these ones with the same general idea there. But honestly, I don't know if I've got anything good realistically. Anyhow, so if you like this episode, please do like and subscribe and definitely leave a comment. I look forward to hearing what your guys' thoughts are and maybe where I should go next. Should I attempt to head east? Should I attempt to head north? And this will be obviously after I finish a little bit, a little bit of a small map house here or map station. I can actually call it a map station. I don't know if I want to leave it square or maybe make some angles to it. I don't know. Pop that out, actually. I can pop out a section of it. It would be kind of cool. No, really. It would be kind of cool. Maybe just stick this out a little ways here and then bring it back in. And do the same here. Stick this out and bring it back in. I don't know. We'll see about that. It won't look too good in the back, though. It would be kind of ugly. However, I could move the map section and bump it back at least a single block. And that would look better. Yes, it would. Yeah, so we got some design work to do in here. So yeah, we'll see y'all next time. Have a good night. Bye. You know what, guys? I failed horribly. Look. 
Look, this one fit perfectly. This one, there's something wrong with one of these maps. And I suspect it could be this one or this one. But one of these maps is not quite where it needs to be. This one's right. And I believe, I don't think I resized this map. 